Hi, thanks for coming to watch another one of my videos. I have got a new piece of equipment here and I get my pocket knife out of my pocket. And we're going to open this bad boy up. And uh, I was really surprised. I got a piece, new piece of equipment and I didn't have to wait six months for it this time of year. Let's see what we got. Nice metal box for it. Open it up. And here is my new blunt 60 millimeter universal day and night use modular telescope. And I got the observer package. This is the blunt LS 60 MT, which I guess the LS stands for blunt solar. The 60 is the 60 millimeter aperture of the lens of the uh, OTA, and the MT is the modular telescope. In other words, what it does is it actually comes apart. You can use it in two different ways. You can use it as a solar uh, telescope, or a regular nighttime or uh, land-based telescope and it actually comes apart and puts it back you can put it back together in several different ways well, first off we've got a single polarizer one and a quarter filter and this I guess is a cap once you take it apart you actually use this to put on the uh, cover the H alpha portion of the telescope comes with a standard uh, one and a quarter 90 mil 90 for the eyepiece comes with a white light 90 for viewing for white light without the H alpha And this is the B1200 uh, blocking filter. Now, in, I got the tw I upgraded to the 1200 because it's supposed to be better for uh, imaging. Because of what it does, it actually, from what I talk to the Lunt people about, it actually gives you a bigger field of view than the B. Uh, it's not that it's any darker or lighter, which was my concern was. Well, is it going to be any different for viewing compared to photography because you can use longer exposures for top photography than you can with your eye? So, but they say no, it's, it's basically the same uh, darkness. It just gives you a wider field of view than the uh, B600. And I went ahead and got the B1200. And now that I got it, uh, you can actually buy it in two ways. You can buy it with a 90 degree or a straight through. And I probably should have went with the straight through now that I've thought about it. I mean, it may not make a difference because you're straight through. You don't have to worry about the extra mirror that's in here. So, uh, you know, they always say the mirrors in the 90 dims it down a little bit. So maybe I should have went with the straight through instead of the 90. But uh, we'll, we'll find out. And, of course, if ever sees this and they want to send me a straight through, that's fine with me. I'll take it. All right. It also comes with a uh, two inch to one and a quarter adapter. And that's because the focuser on the uh, scope is a two inch design. And all your attachments come except for the uh, uh, H alpha blocking filter comes with a two inch to one and a quarter and this allows you to use your standard eyepieces 90 degree uh, 90 degree stuff one one and a quarter stuff in it okay and since the 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 package I bought was actually a viewers pack the beginners viewer pack it comes with a, a zoom eyepiece, which is a 7.2 millimeter 53 degree to a 21.8 millimeter 40 degree. 
eyepiece so it zooms in and out and it has a the eye cup rotates in and out okay and it comes with the soul searcher uh, finder which is uh, a hole on one side and a, a, a frosted piece little frosted piece on the other side that you actually see the the sun in without looking directly up at it because you don't want to look at the sun without the proper equipment right you never want to look at the sun without the proper equipment now the main part of the telescope get it out of here without damaging it all right this is the 60 millimeter telescope and it's it's a regular scope here and then you have your uh, your H alpha filter system here and this is a actually they call it a pressure tuning but it on the thing it says Doppler true tuning it's it, you can tune it to better adjust for the seeing stuff on the surface of the sun better there's a couple of styles out on the market where you have the tune the pressure tune like this and I think it's a uh, the other ones what they call a tilt tune so you have the pressure pressure tune like this one has or a tilt tune this is a Crawford focuser with the two-speed focuser you got an internal and an external two-speed focuser and of course it comes with the pretty case oh, and I also forgot to mention that it comes with a little four inch dovetail for mounting on the on the telescope and using on your tripod and uh, anyway somebody's gonna have some fun so let's get after it.